I'm Dave Williams with Dave's Videography and today we're at Hot Licks Guitar Shop up in Waldorf, Maryland. And I'm with uh, Mike Stacy. Uh, those of you in the music scene here in Southern Maryland uh, probably know Mike Stacy. He's a man of few words but uh, makes that guitar scream and I thought it would be neat to come in and interview him today and he agreed to let me do that. Good morning, so, folks. Oh, sorry, Dave. That's okay. So we're going we're to talk to Mike a little bit. Mike, uh, if you would, uh, kind of tell me how you got into uh, playing the guitar. Oh, wow. Um, well, I, I, you know, grew up listening to, uh, you know, my mom's records. You know, she would play records during the day when we were home, and Dad would play his stuff at night. And, you know, a lot of what she played was like Elvis, Patti Page, Harry Belafonte, The Platters, you know, Tom Jones. Dad would play a lot of jazz and classical music. And uh, I kind of latched on to the, the Elvis and, and Beatles thing, and I eventually figured out it was the guitar player who was playing the cool stuff and Elvis yeah. you know was just kind of doing his thing yeah yeah but um, that's really sort of what got the ball rolling I mean you know a movie like hard day's night you know it looks like the Beatles are just you know having so much fun doing what they're doing it was just yeah. a bug kind of bit yeah how long have you been playing about 35 years Okay, and you are a guitar instructor here at Hot Licks Guitar Shop. Yep. How yep. long have you been doing that? Uh, basically since the day we opened, about 26 years now. Wow. Yeah. And your guitar choice, as far as uh, we're not here to do, uh, uh, you know, advertising for guitars, but I, I've seen you play a lot, and uh, Fender seems to be the one that uh, I see with the most. Well, f for me, live, they allow me to get you know, uh, a lot of sounds very easily and very quickly. It's just a very comfortable instrument for me to get a lot of sounds yeah. out of. And you, you've got, is that the Fender Strat there? Yep, this is uh, actually a, a custom shop Fender Strat. Okay. That, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a really sort of a basic Stratocaster, three pickups, five-way switch, and a couple of controls. You've been playing a long time. You've been doing the, uh, the lessons. Uh, you're playing right now with the Sam Grow band, mm -hmm. and uh, that's got to be a pretty good experience with the talent of Sam Grow and the other guys in the band, Joe and Gene. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, really, what can you say about Gene? Yeah. I mean, he, he plays bass, he sings, he plays guitar, he writes, he does sound. I mean, really, it, it, it's it's kind of humbling to be around. I yeah. mean, somebody who works as hard as he does, and, and Sam and, and Joe as well. Uh, but really, I, I got to give it up to the fans. I mean, because it, it's like Sam says, you know, it's, it's the fans that have, have made us. The fans love the music. They buy the singles. They come out to the shows. They support us every weekend. That's uh, really who I got to give it up to. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you guys play a lot. I, I really enjoy it. But I've seen, also seen you on the stage uh, with some other guys that you've played with locally. Uh, Eric Smith, uh, uh, Eric uh, Scott, mm -hmm. Ronnie Smith, uh, John Lusky. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen you also open for some, uh, some big acts. Uh, yeah. who, who are some of the guys that you've played with on, on the larger level? Oh, well, uh, well, we can't forget about Austin Cody either. Yeah. Uh, but we've opened, I've opened for bands uh, like Tora Tora, 10,000 Maniacs, uh, in other groups, I've opened for jazz artists like Roy Ayers and um, Bobby Blue Bland, um, great blues singer. Um, crime, I can't remember all the people we've opened yeah, up I, for. I, I saw you a couple years ago uh, with the Trace Atkins. Yeah, uh, uh, Trace Atkins with, a couple uh, of times. Dunn. Ronnie Dunn, Big and Rich, uh, Bill Engvall. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 I'd have to go back and look. Yeah. Is it ever too late to learn how to play the guitar? I don't think so. I mean, I've been playing for 35 years, and the more I learn, the more I find there is to learn. Right. I mean, so many great players, so much great music, more players coming out every day. Yeah. Um, I don't think so, not a bit. And I don't think uh, my older students would think so either. Yeah. Uh, since you've been, you've been teaching for 26 years now, Yeah. Uh, is there anybody that's, that's come out that's, uh, that's gotten out there and, and kind of gone places playing? Well, a, a number of my students uh, have gone on to be teachers here at the mm -hmm. store. Todd Rhodes, Joe Palchek, um, uh, Ricky Lopez. We've got uh, a couple other fine teachers uh, as well. Chris Everett, uh, Josh Sendish. Uh, one of my students, Ron Vento, owns and operates Night Sky Studios. Okay. Uh, Antonio Rucci, uh, formerly of Count My Blessings. Right. Uh, I right. can't remember his, his current band's name. Yeah. Uh, I was a former student and a former teacher here. Yeah. 
Uh, so you, you pretty much, uh, you're a full-time uh, guitar instructor, mm -hmm. and then you're out playing probably uh, some nights, four or five nights a week. Uh, and and some, some weeks, as many as six, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's got to be pretty awesome to, to make a living uh, and, and do something that you just love to do. It, 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 I, I, I count it a blessing. I mean, sometimes it, it is a, a lot of work and you don't get to yeah. sleep very much. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, what can you say? I get to play guitar for a living. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. It, is there a day that uh, Mike Stacy doesn't pick up a guitar uh, when you're off? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I've got a family and, you know, some days, you know, if, if, if the opportunity presents itself, I mean, you know, my granddaughter certainly loves to see her grandpa. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the family likes to, you know, do things that normal folks do. Yeah. yeah. Well, once in a great while. Yeah. What I'd like to do is get you to play a little bit for everybody. Sure. And, uh, so we're going to do that right now. Sure. So, what do you What do you want to hear? Uh, well, uh, some whatever you want to do, really. Uh, oh, God, so many places we can go. Yeah. Well, there's no doubt about that. I uh, just want to kind of showcase your talents for everybody out there.
Okay, that was uh, Mike Stacy on the lead guitar, and uh, like I told you guys, it was just uh, pretty awesome. That's why I'm a fan of Mike Stacy on the guitar and uh, the Sam Grove Band. Mike, I want to thank you for allowing me to come into a Hot Licks Guitar Shop. Uh, that's where I buy all my gear when I'm looking for XLR cables and stuff like that. I want to thank uh, Paul, the owner of uh, Hot Licks, and of course Gene's the manager here. But uh, thank you so much, and uh, we'll be seeing you on the stage real soon, I'm sure. Well, thank you very much, Dave. It was a pleasure having you, and, and my thanks to Paul and Gene and the gang here at Hot Licks. I mean, everything right there came from here, <laughs> including this. It's got to be pretty awesome, uh, you know, whenever you, you need something uh, to work right where... Oh, yeah. Well, dude, trust me, it's, it's a real temptation, <laughs> you know, to walk by, you know, walls full of guitars <laughs> and amplifiers every day. And going, okay, I, I can't do this. I got, uh, I got, I got to pay food. We got to buy food. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, I appreciate it. Good seeing you, Mike. And like I said, we'll see you on the stage real soon. Thank you, Dave. Okay.